I've been asked to speak about emptiness, and I think that that's quite fitting because I've been told many, many times, Swami, you are so full of emptiness. <laughs> I'm not bragging. I'm not bragging because actually um, I take great pride in my humility. <laughs> well, very good. But actually I've released the grip of the ego by learning a simple three-word mantra. Would you like to learn it? Ego, egoing, egon, just like that. And of course, I've done many, many, many studies. I've spent many, many days. I've spent moments every day. I've spent moments in silence. No, listen. Uh, in fact, I experienced a, actually a one-day silent retreat. It was so quiet, you could hear an opinion drop. <laughs> and of course, I've studied this thing of mindfulness, which is the antidote to mindfulness. Because we are all told that if we want to feel fulfilled, we have to fill ourselves full. But fulfillment is not the same as feelfulment, okay? And so I've done many, many studies. I studied with a guru who told me if I want to achieve enlightenment and mindfulness, I had to release all of my thoughts and focus on the center of myself. And I did this and it worked. I am now thoughtless and self-centered. Now, I want to come back down to earth, okay? So I'm curious, uh, from this high ethereal place that we've been, how many people have, been, have experienced problems, challenges, and difficulties in their lives? <laughs> Anybody still having any of those? Okay, what if I were to tell you that I have something that will, whatever your problem is, this something will solve all of your problems instantly. Would you be interested? Yes. Okay, well, listen, I have it right here. I have here a box of absolutely nothing. Because no matter what your problem is, nothing will help. <laughs> Did you know that nothing is known to cure baldness? Nothing gets out those impossible stains. Nothing is completely safe to eat. Nothing lasts forever. Nothing beats sex. Nothing is made in the U.S. <laughs> and nothing will make you feel good about the election. <laughs> no, this woman came up to me. She said, Swami, nothing satisfies my husband. I said, terrific, buy him some. <laughs> we have truth in packaging. As you can see, perhaps, there's a hole in the box. You can see exactly how much nothing you have left. Up here, you have plenty of nothing. Down here, it is time to get more. No, this is the ultimate enlightenment tool because if the secret to everything is nothing. If you understand nothing, you understand everything. Do you understand? You clearly understand nothing. Don't worry, you understand everything. Now, what if we had an economy based on nothing, on producing nothing? Well, because nothing lasts forever, nothing costs anything, to, nothing to produce, does it not? Okay? I have an economy based on nothing. Imagine selling boxes of nothing. Multi-level. It could be called no way. <laughs> now, you can actually buy a box of nothing that we haven't produced yet. You can buy nothing futures. And you can sell nothing futures to other people to buy nothing in the future that doesn't exist now. Hmm? There are many, many other ways that we can use nothing in the economy, okay? I have Swami's ultimate meditation tape, completely blank. You know, they say that those who know don't say and those who say don't know. I spend an hour not saying anything. So clearly, I must know everything. Now, there are other products like that too. The, the ultimate meditation tape, we begin with the purest silence uh, from the highest peaks in the Himalayas, premeditated by a thousand Buddhist monks. If you hear anything while listening to that, completely inside your own head. There's other ways to apply nothing. Uh, in fact, somebody in the Himalayas, believe it or not, opened up the world's first breatharian restaurant. <laughs> People come there for the atmosphere. 
No, listen, I'm telling you. I was there. I was sitting there. I see three guys walking by. They have clothespins on their noses like this. They were fasting. <laughs> no, one of them was so enlightened, not only doesn't he eat food, he doesn't drink water either. His name is Pierre. <laughs> okay, that was time release. Somewhere in the timeless now, you will laugh later. <laughs> so I think it's very, very important that we have nothing because so many of these somethings are causing so many difficulties. Uh, how many people have experienced um, what we call environmental uh, problems? Uh, you have a problem with perfumes and... Okay. Good news for you, I have developed the world's first completely odorless cologne. I call it nonsense. <laughs> no, my slogan is, this product makes no sense whatsoever. So as you can see, in this world of, of many, many things, nothing can be very valuable for you. Hmm? And so in these times of practicing mindfulness, in practicing focus, in practicing uh, being with the with everything, I, and which is so much I appreciated Robert Thurman's talk because now I realize that I am spending most of my time in the timeless now, and I think they call that Alzheimer's. <laughs> no, no, fifth dimension, first dementia, I can't seem to think of it any different. So I, I'm hoping that, uh, that th this, is, uh, this has been fruitful for you, that you've expanded your mind uh, I'm, that perhaps some of this emptiness has flowed over to, to your experience. And I hope that this entire presentation has been no thought provoking. Thank you, and may the farce be with you. Thank you.